Hi, I'm Maria Rosati, CEO of Eminence Communications. Today, I'm joined by Marcy Braswell, Head of Endowments for Regents Bank. Marcy, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Maria. So Marcy, the pandemic has clearly impacted giving. What is the current state of the industry? You know, I would say that the current state of the industry right now is uneven. Um, there's been uneven experience among nonprofits. Some have done really well and others have really suffered. Um, and I'd also say that there is one thing that, that all have experienced in common is uncertainty. Um, and uncertainty as to what to expect during this last quarter of giving and what to expect going forward for 2021. Interesting. And so how has the industry evolved over the last several years? You know, it's evolved in several different ways. One of it is with next generation donors, um, those donors who um, want to feel involved in the mission. They want to feel, participate in the nonprofit's experience. Um, so that is one way. Another is a focus on plan giving, uh, looking at gifts more into the future and planning for those gifts, working with donors to create those experiences. And, you know, there's also a shift in the way that grant making organizations have uh, are approaching grants um, in from the perspective that, that, that they're seeing, especially during this pandemic, that the nonprofits on the ground are doing great work. And they want to make sure that the funds are available in as easy as way they can so that the nonprofits can focus on the work and not on filling out forms and other information for the grant making organizations. Okay. And so how have nonprofits adapted to the changes in giving? You know, they have adapted so well over the years and in particularly in this pandemic, they've been focused on engaging those, de those next generation donors. They've done that through the creation of active and creative junior boards. Um, they've been focused on peer to peer fundraising and social media. They've really um, marshaled social media for their causes. And, you know, throughout the, the pandemic, they've been creative with turning um, in-person events into virtual um, events, um, turning that lemon into lemonade. And, you know, they're also focused on making it as easy as possible on donors to give, meeting the donors where they are and making that experience as easy and as meaningful as possible. How has technology impacted giving? Well, 2020 is all about technology. Technology has enabled nonprofits to pivot from in-person fundraising to virtual galas and other events. Um, technology has also been that key for cultivating and maintaining the donor relationships. That's the key to giving, as fundraisers know, um, and technology has really allowed that to occur. Now, we hear a lot about endowments. What role are they playing for nonprofits? You know, endowments act as a safety net for nonprofits. They provide a steady stream of income for nonprofits, even when other sources of revenue may decline. So it really is a, its stability um, and a safety net for those nonprofits. Let's turn to what are the trends you see on the horizon? You know, there are a number of trends, um, one being an increased importance on endowments for nonprofit sustainability, 2020 being the eye, an eye opener for how quickly the world can change. You know, there's also a focus, um, it began several years ago and it's continuing and growing on um, ESG investing, environmental, social, sustainable investing. Um, and, you know, communication that really has shown throughout this pandemic, communication and coordination among nonprofits. And I believe that will continue in 2021 and beyond. Marcy, thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to hearing more about trends and endowments and nonprofits in 2021. Thank you so much.